Hello guys, it's Easter Sunday today and normally people be eating Easter eggs. I do have some chocolate eggs somewhere but um, instead I've been looking for this and I've managed to find it. Um, I have some out of date vegan barbecue pork ribs. Now yes guys, this means if you are, that this is um, halal pork. It's not actually pork, it's like pretend pork, okay? So you can actually eat it if you're a Muslim because it's pretend pork. In fact, it's totally vegan, apparently. Right, now, a lot of, uh, I did do one similarly where they did some vegan steak crisps. This is the um, pork ribs vegan crisps. Now, um, it's currently the 31st of March, 2024. And to prove it, um, the BBC have a news article stating that, and this is word for word, Beyonce album is missing tracks on vinyl, fans say. That's the headline, okay? It's all about how apparently people bought the vinyl version of her latest album, have fewer tracks on it than um, what she's put possibly on streaming services or elsewhere. I don't know exactly, but... I know years ago that used to happen um, if you bought the vinyl version when vinyl was still current um, you often got fewer tracks than if you bought the CD version this was when CD was newer and they were trying to encourage people to spend more on CDs people didn't um, know why they should pay more at the time for just slightly better quality in their view or what's now considered inferior sound quality but that's another matter as now people think vinyl is better than CD but at the time people thought CD was better than vinyl but anyway I digress and um, so basically yeah that was the news but anyway enough of that um, this is a pack of five normally walkers sell their crisps in packets of six or twelve usually um, they also have boxes and other you know I think once had 36 as well, but you know, I forget now what the latest because uh, when I go normally it's sixes or twelve, truthfully, or a box. Anyway, this is a pack of five, um, so it's a way of charging the same but giving you less packets of crisps. But because it's a, they say it's limited. I think this was a limited, meant to be a limited edition thing. I don't know, I think I once saw where they had the steak, it said limited edition. Um, I can't see it say, it did once say it for the other one. I have to find it, but I know it was somewhere. But anyway, um, I don't know if it was limited edition, it doesn't say limited edition. I think for the steak it said limited edition, but it didn't please. Maybe it wasn't, maybe one of them wasn't a commercial success. So I, don't, I don't know if it's still, I haven't seen it since, but I haven't looked hard to be honest. So, anyway, it's dated the 24th of the second of February 2024. And let's, let's open them up. Inside you've got, you know, five packs of crisps, just like normal ones, you just get the same packaging practically, the same information, and again it's got the same 24th of February 24, just in case you think I'm cheating in some way, and so I'm going to open it. Now I've never tried this, this particular flavour before, um, so let's see what it's like. This is what the crisp looks like. I can't see anything really on it. Sometimes you can see there's herbs or something on it. I can't really see anything. And then in the past I've had their smoky bacon flavoured crisps. Again, I believe I'm not a vegetarian. Um, Believe it or not, so I 
And just to compare, and this is a typical smoky bacon um, packet by them. And then it says on this suitable for vegetarians, so that's a normal and smoky bacon is a regular flavour here, okay? Um in my view probably the best flavour truthfully, but there you go. I know that's controversial if you're a Muslim, but it's the truth, okay? Um Even though Muslims could eat this because there's nothing, um, you know, there's no actual pork product in it, and it's suitable for vegetarians, they wouldn't just because of the name, uh, because it'd be offensive to them, you know? And, um, now, I've just noticed something on these um, crisps. Um, I, I think it was the same on the steak one. So I, I did a steak video a while back, and I've forgotten what I said on it. Truthfully, um, so it's, but this is what I find surprising. On the one hand, it's a certified by the vegan society. Okay, right. Think. Okay, that's fine. Vegan, certified by the Vegan Society, okay? But then, on the same packet of crisps further along, it says allergy advice. May contain milk. Yes, that's right. I'm trying to show it better. May contain milk. Now... If you're a vegan, you do not want it to contain milk. That's the whole point of being a vegan. Vegans are opposed to milk or any dairy products. They're opposed to meat and dairy products, essentially. Um, I'm going to compare... So, and it's also got the exact same list on the smoky bacon crisp. So on the smoking bacon crisp, it's got the same allergy warning. And... Right, there's some... Now I've looked at the ingredients on the um, sm for the smoky bacon crisp, but I only claim a vegetarian. Now, and I can't see anything that looks dairy related in the smoky bacon. So what? Why these are vegan? And these are vegetarian, it's completely beyond me, because I can't, just looking at the ingredients alone, I can't tell any difference, but they do use some strange names like tocopherol rich extract on the smoky bacon, and put names that sound really strange, which I don't know what they are, but I doubt they've got anything to do with milk, but I wouldn't know. Um... I don't know what Malik has it is. So it's probably just a gimmick where they're saying it's vegan, but in my view it's not really because it's saying it could contain milk. And, you know, it may just be, but it probably means it shouldn't do, but it could. But I don't know why they don't do the same for smoky bacon then and the other flavours, but never mind. That's their choice. And, um, as I said, I don't think there's really much of a difference between these. <coughs> It's most back on going on these. They've sort of, I think, giving them a sharper taste. So, for me, it's like they're, they're almost like smoky bacon flavour crisp, but with a sharper taste. Does it actually taste like pork? Well, <coughs> like smoky bacon flavour crisps. Pretty much, to be honest. Um, 
So, if someone is a Muslim and is curious as to what pork may taste like without having any actual pork, knowing that no pegs were harmed in the making of this, then I could try them and find out what it would taste like, but, you know, I'll probably get desperate for saying that, you know, but... Oh, yes, I do say, sorry, they do say limited edition. So here you go, limited edition flavour. So I thought it would be, but they didn't put limited edition on the front. So they didn't put limited edition on here. I can't easily see it. But they, they do say unreal flavour, but I've not seen anything else. But on the actual individual packs they do say limited edition flavour so obviously maybe that's all over now and maybe they don't make them anymore and so I haven't noticed some things but I haven't looked either I'll be honest they do taste okay mm. whether they're worth paying the extra for compared to smoky bacon because mm, smoky bacon you've, you've got like six packs instead of five but, I think that's okay, okay. I think I was disappointed with the steak one, I think, when I tried it. But this tastes okay. And so I forget what I say on the steak one now, but... It was also vegan, but... I haven't recently noticed any crisps um, from Walkers that are um, tend to be vegan. There may be, but I just haven't noticed anything or any that's got vegan on it recently. But, you know, um, Walkers are the main crisp brand over here. They're considered um, the best crisps you can get for normal people, okay? Um, I'm not talking about like ultra luxury crisps or things like that, just something that's affordable that normal people would eat, okay? Um, it was bought, the company was bought out by Lazy of America, so. And sometimes, you know, they have, um, you know, sold some of the Walker's crisps in America under the Lay's brand. And some of the, the, the Lay's paper crisps are available over here. Also the Lay's brand, so you can buy Lay's crisps over here and Walker's, but they're now the same brand. But the Walker's crisps, to my knowledge, are made to the same recipe that they were pretty much years ago. They may have changed it slightly over years, I wouldn't know. But, you know, for some... And then, there you go. I'm sorry to bore you guys to death with me just eating crisps. Especially, it's, obviously, it's Easter Sunday. And I should be eating, um, you know, Easter eggs instead, but there you go, guys. Um... These correct cost an arm and a leg, well, not really, but, you know, I'm going without this here, and sometimes you can get them cheaper in the depth after, after Easter, so, it's often then they're trying to get rid of them, and you can get them sometimes for half price, so, and also, to be honest, Easter eggs are generally something for children, to be honest, so, Usually, um, and over here, our Easter eggs are chocolate, so, I mean, in some countries, I get a normal egg and paint it, I mean, instead, make our, our Easter eggs are basically chocolate eggs, okay? Well, mm -hmm. anyway, 
I will admit it's quite nice. Giving this a vegan food is nice. Mind you, let's make a bag and Christmas are nice and um and I've got no idea what the difference is in terms of why one's vegan and the other one isn't. I'm absolutely baffled frankly, but there you go. Um There you go, guys. When it normally, I'll be honest. Normally, I've, often I've tried vegan food sometimes by pure accident, right? Where I bought something cheaper, I didn't realise what it was. When I got home, I realised it was actually a vegan version, not the real thing. And often, to be honest, it tastes absolutely disgusting because it's trying to be something it's not, and it never will be. Like, um. I once had um, a vegan scotch egg, and they, but it wasn't an egg at all, and they used peas instead of egg to make it appear to be an egg, even though it wasn't an egg. And I'm sorry, but peas don't taste like eggs, they've never tried to be, and it tasted horrible because it was trying to be something it just wasn't and never would be. But this tastes quite nice. I'll be honest, it just tastes nice. Now I probably should have bought more of these. Um, but I didn't know if I'd like them or not. I didn't know if they're any good or not. And also more expensive. But I got them so I could show them, you guys, a rare flavour of crisps over here, okay? Pork red flavoured crisps, okay? And, of course, Americans call crisps and potato chips, okay? Or something like that, okay? Um, there you go, guys. And it also tells you not to recycle them at home, but to recycle them in a store. For example, outside our supermarket, indoor, in the mall area, what we call the mall, the shopping centre, or the mall, depending on what you want to call it. Um, they have a set have basically a big container for you to throw any spare ones you have of these in so that they can be recycled and I do that regularly um, so there you go guys finished now would I eat them again yes if I had the opportunity yes if they were cheap enough but it looks like I'll never be able to because they were limited edition and I truly haven't seen them since. But they do taste nice. Are they better than smoky bacon? Not sure. I think it might even be better actually. And that's surprising. Because I, you know, smoky bacon is in my opinion the best flavour that they sell. In my opinion. Um, and I'm surprised it's beaten them. But there you go. Thanks for watching guys. Happy Easter. Bye.